if you are older than middle school. What would you tell middle school you? Sixth grade or you? Going into sixth grade, what would you tell you? Hmm, that's a pretty good question there, Tessa. What would you tell your younger self? I mean, in my case, it's been... Damn, Grax, how long has it been since you were at school? Uh, this is a senior school. It's been about 12 years since I was last at senior school, which is your equivalent of uh, high school, middle school, I guess. Wait a second, is my British college the same as your American middle school, and your American colleges are the same as our British universities? I don't know! Damn you confusing system! Okay, let's just say 10 years. 10 years since I last was in a decent form of education, not counting university with my degree. Mmm. Your advice of saying, don't worry, everything will be fine, this time will pass, is good advice to begin with. But in my case, I feel that I would tell myself to... Well, the first thing I would definitely say is, Grax, lay off the pizzas and the burgers, eat healthy, and lose weight. Because when I was a teenager, growing up into my early teens, I was a heavy mother lover. I was 18 stone at my worst. Which is... Ah, uh, damn you and your systems being all completely different. Uh, 18 stone is about... 252 pounds. 114 kilograms. So yeah, I was a heavy guy. And losing weight and doing all these different kind of exercises, I found out later in my life, it makes you feel so much better and it makes you look better, which makes you more attractive, which attracts more people. And, well, ultimately, I feel that because of my heavy weight, I didn't have much self-confidence in myself. Which, well, I wouldn't have confidence in anything else. And I would have trouble talking to people, but especially girls. And obviously at that young, horny age, that's what you want. You want a member of the opposite sex to do, to have sexy time. I would tell my younger self to lose weight and, and pay more attention to your personal image. Because not only would it attract other people, but it will make you feel so much better about yourself and you'll feel like you can enjoy life a lot more. Eat more healthily, do more exercise, you'll feel better about yourself, you'll have more confidence, and you'll get the social results that you want. That's what I would say to myself. Of course, whether I'd listen to myself, I would pro probably not. I'd probably... If I was to tell my younger self that I'd be doing exercises on a regular basis, I would have laughed at my face. However, Tessa, I see a bit of a paradox with going back to the past and telling your younger self all this information. A time paradox, if you will. Think about it. If you went back in time and you told yourself these advice, and let's assume you had followed your own advice, then I believe you would follow a different path in your life. You wouldn't make the same mistakes, different opportunities would open to yourselves, and ultimately, you would not be the same Tessa that you are right now. If you cared less about your life, then maybe you'd be a lot more happy with yourself, more popular, perhaps, then you possibly wouldn't even do these videos, you maybe wouldn't have decided to go into YouTube, and there might be a whole host of things which would have affected your life if you'd followed your advice. Maybe you wouldn't be, maybe you would be, I don't know, some executive for some multi-million conglomerate company earning trillions and trillions of dollars. Or maybe you would just be a boring housewife with 20 kids because you got yourself knocked up. Or maybe worse, maybe you'd be dead because of an accident. I'm not saying that these would have definitely happened, I'm just saying that it could have happened. I'm just saying that there's probably an alternative universe of Tessa out there who's taken your advice but has come out completely differently. Just imagine, how different would your life be if you decided to do things differently? What are your crossroads in your life? Oh, that's a good question. Here's a question for you, Tessa, and anyone else in, who happens to be watching this video. Can you think of any crossroad moments in your life where there's a distinct point where you could have chose to go one way or the other, you chose one way, but life could have been so much different if you went the other. I mean, a good example is in one of my crossroad lives. This is pretty much at the tail end of my fatty years. When I was at a New Year's Eve party, it didn't turn out to be a great party at the end, and I was laying on the couch on my own, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm not going to take this anymore. I've had enough. 
I want to have sex, but no one's going to have sex with a fat boy. So, I decided to change my image. I changed my image, lost weight, etc, etc, and I become the super stud that you see today. But if I chose not to lose weight, if I chose to keep my current lifestyle, then I would still be fat, I would probably be fatter, and I can imagine myself being a lot more depressed than I am now. So in that case, in my opinion, I made the right choice. So what are your crossroad moments?